When we play it, we've got like Ooh, both of them going like. on. We are in Adobe Express Beta today. We'll be working and showing you how to create these social videos within the program. What we're gonna be doing is checking out this Get Started tab here up at the top. I'm gonna scroll over to the Instagram Reel, browse templates, and start from a template. It opens a new project for you with all of the templates open on the left-hand side here. You can just kind of scroll through here. There's a lot of different things that are available to you. I'm gonna be creating a cool video project promo for a fictional event today. And I really like this kind of amorphous manifest your dreams piece here, selecting that template. And one of the first things that you'll notice is you will have a timeline down here at the bottom. And when you jump into your template or start a piece from scratch, you may actually not see it. You'll just see the little timeline mm -hmm. down here small. And all you have to do is hit in the bottom right hand corner, just that edit timeline button so that you can expand and take a closer look at everything that is available to you there. We've already got a lot of different elements and things available to us. The play button here, you can see that it does it this really cool like spectral animation Gradient in the back. Thing, yeah. yeah, it looks super cool. And we also have this interesting little fade in here for our text. And if you would like to take a look at any of the elements within the video, all you have to do is select that. My text, my shapes, and my background. I can come in and peek at all of the different elements if I turn on show layer timing. And you will be looking at these individually. So if I select the star shape, you can see the star shape pops up here so we can take a closer look. And every time you select a new element, it'll show you a little bit about what's going on with it here. If there's any text effects, animations, the opacity, make this a little more magical and kind of make it look a little more like the event I'm going for. How many layers you can add to the timeline. Mm -hmm. I can put as much on here as I want. Check out the elements. I can start snagging some circles and mm -hmm. placing them all over the place and doing whatever I want with them. I can come in and duplicate and just throw them all over. I could put as many as I see fit. I will be previewing them in the timeline completely separately. I could select more than one at a time, but when I select one individually, that is when you will take a Got closer it. look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete one of these stars, zoom in just a tad. I'd like to use a new video in conjunction with this amorphous vibe here in the background, using some blending modes, alter our shape here. Fill with white, remove the border, change the background color a little bit. Move our manifest your dreams down, and I'm gonna go for like kind of a retro wave vibe here. Change this to say vapor wave. If you jump in here and you are working with the text, and as you get into your project, you start wondering why are these things over here grayed out, make sure you check what your text layout is set to. So like right now, my text layout is set to dynamic. So if I have a paragraph of information and I want all the different words to be different font sizes and things so that I can make like a really nice lockup, you can simply hit dynamic here and it will lock it up in an interesting way. But if I go back to default, then I can come in and kind of alter it the way that I prefer for myself. I'm just cool. gonna duplicate this and combine another font, do a little bit of animation. Change our vapor wave and I'm gonna turn this to kind of a bold pink color. Let's go ahead into edit timeline. With my video selected here, it is actually much, much longer than what I'm previewing here. Mm -hmm. And I can change the duration of my video very easily. So I can come over here and just drag this out. And then I can drag out about how long this lasts here if I want to. I can do all kinds of stuff. You can alter all of the durations of any videos you use. You can also come in and add a scene if you would like to transition to a completely different scene and build a, something else. Snag another video. So I'm gonna come into media, search photos, do text to image if you want. You can come in to the audio and upload audio, mm -hmm. snag some music, which we'll do later. You can also record a voiceover in here, which is amazing. That's so cool for social video, that's oh, huge. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and hit 80s. Snag this cool 80s video, come over to our layers, drag this down and then do a little alteration with cool. our amorphous yeah. blob. Let's come in here with this selected, scroll down and take a look at my effects. Change the duotone, this like super vibrant blue color. Click that, click the filter edit button there and I'm gonna change the highlights to kind of the pink color we've been using. Back here in our blend, put that on a screen. Now when we play it, we've got like, Ooh, both of them going like, on. Matches better with our background, it adds 
adds a little bit of atmosphere, which I yep. think is really cool. If you go to adobe.com slash express, you can check out all of the information about the Adobe Express beta. You could click join the free beta, which will bring you over here to this nice nifty new homepage, which is pretty fabulous. You can scroll through and kind of explore all of the new features. Adios, Adios everyone.